So we're gonna go from this steering wheel, kind of boring, you know. I don't know if you can see, but it's like kind of peeling and stuff. The top is just all worn down. It doesn't feel good on the hands, so that is the before. So the first thing we want to do, absolutely do not skip this, is disconnect the battery. Uh, I've got both terminals disconnected. Some people say just a, a negative is fine, but since you're in here, just do both. And then make sure that you know it's not gonna you know fall off or touch anything metal. So this one I got tucked behind here, so it won't move out of the way and touch anything. So you definitely want to do that and then let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes before we do anything else. All right, so we're gonna come into the car here. Don't mind all the stuff on the floor. It's just a little scent beads and stuff. So we're gonna pop this off right here with like a flathead screwdriver. Just a little tab right there. And then there's one on the other side as well, right there. So we're gonna pop those off and then we'll see what uh, we got behind them. Okay, so for the panel, uh, the screws behind these panels here on either side, they're security bits. So you need to get one of these, it's a T30 security Torx bit. This was 99 cents at the hardware store. You need one of those because these things will strip out and then you're screwed. There's no other way to get these out besides one of these proper bits right here. So what I'm gonna do is I've got a 6.5 millimeter socket on here. Apparently these are pretty hard to break loose. So this will fit right into there like that. So I'll use that to uh, break these off and I'll film that for you. There we go, popped it loose. Nice. All right, so I'm gonna leave this just, I mean, it's loose, but it's still holding on, just, yeah, it's still in there. Just, you know, so this doesn't fall out while I'm taking the other side out. So, uh, you definitely need this security bit. It's super tight and there's just no no other tool you can use without stripping and ruining it. You gotta get one of these. Okay, I got a little crack. There it goes. Broke it loose. Alright. So I got this one out. So I'm gonna pull this one out now. And I'm just gonna throw these away. I'm gonna use different ones different bolts because I don't like these because I'll shoot up and stuff. I'll tell you about those later when we install. Alright, so with the screws out on the both sides, you can just carefully take the airbag off. I don't like sitting in front of it like this. I'm going to move over to the side and uh, okay, we can see that there are just the orange and yellow plugs here. So all you gotta do is just lift up these black tabs with a little screwdriver. Be careful because they will break. Go real slow here. There it goes, popped up. And then you can take the connector off. Wiggle it off. There we go. Okay. So now I feel a little more comfortable that the airbag's not going to blow up because it's got no connections to it, but you never know. Static electricity or something. An anomaly of some sort. Alright, same thing on the yellow one. There's like a little slot in the back. You can just get it in there and kind of twist and it pops up. Alright, I got a little dirt in there. And I'm just going to wiggle this connector off as well. Okay, and it's off. So, here's the airbag. And uh, what I'm gonna do here 
is I'm just gonna place it somewhere. I don't know, like on this chair, face up. In case if it blows up, it'll just you know it won't. If you place it down like this, then it'll shoot the, the whole assembly uh, around. So place it somewhere like that. And uh, here we go on to the next step on the uh, inside here. Take this connector off this gray connector. I'm gonna use the same screwdriver to press down on this tab right here and pull it out. All right, so all I did, press it on this tab over here and pull. Not on the wires, pull on the connector. And it slips right out, it's a pretty easy connector. And then right here is this ground pin. I'm just gonna pull that off too. It's gonna fight me. There we go. Okay, so now all of our connections are loose. So we can go ahead and take off this nut. Okay, so we got a 19 right here. Fits on there. So I gotta break. I'm just gonna go ahead and try to break it loose. Hold on to the wheel here. Okay, broke it loose. Okay, with that nut off all the way, you go ahead and pull the steering wheel off. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the nut on there just a little bit. So in case if the wheel comes flying off, I don't rip any wires or anything. So I'm gonna do like a back and forth like this type of deal. There we go. And then carefully, try to get these right through here. Just take this part slow. You don't wanna destroy anything. Feed these wires through here. There we go. Okay, now this is probably the hardest part. Before we install the airbag, we gotta rewire this little harness right here. So, here's how the wires are before, in this order. That's brown, that's black, and that's white. Everything else, I'm sure you could see. We gotta change it to this. So, the brown wire stays the same, and the white wire stays the same, so we can leave those in. So, let me show you how we're gonna do this. So, here's our harness. Let's take a look here. See the, the colors uh, match what we have written down. Yes, they do. Okay. So, um, I looked up some stuff about um, re, uh, rewiring connectors like this. It's actually called repinning. And there's special tools used for it. But I'm going to use this. These little like tweezers that come to a point here. I'm sure you could also use like a small pin or a nail or a small screwdriver or something. So, I will show you how to do this now. I'll walk you right through it. So, we got to take off this plastic thing here it's a little like retainer so the wires don't slip out so I'm just gonna pull up on that and it should pop right off just gotta get in there oh, there we go should come off now yeah there it is okay so now we can see all the pins in there so we're actually going to be working from this side, right here. Okay, so on this connector there's a small hole up top and then the bigger one on the bottom. We're going to be using the bigger one, but we're going to be on the side that the small hole is. So what I mean is, we're not going to be down here, we're going to be up here on this side of the hole. So I'm going to push the tool in like this. and. While I'm doing that, I'm gonna be pulling on this yellow wire like that. So I do a little like pinching action so it like pulls. So give it some tension like that. I'm gonna put the tool in where I showed you. And then you're gonna tilt back. Like that. 
It's a little difficult. Without the proper tool. But I will get it. There we go. So there's like a little plastic tab that holds these into place. And then once you unlock that, it comes right out. So there it is. And then we need to get the rest of them out except the brown and the white. And if you don't want to do this, you could just, you know, somewhere around here, cut the wires and re-solder them in that order. But I'm going to do this since I don't like to solder. Okay, so now I got all the wires out except the brown. I took the white out because it was in the way, even though it's in the same spot. So, we want to make sure that we put these in the right way. Because, you know, these little pins here are not the same, but they go in. See that little divot is? They go in. The divot faces away from us if we're looking at the connector like this. So, we just got to rewire this now. Like that, the bottom. So the red is going to go on this side. So let's go ahead and slap that in there. Just like that. And we should hear a little click. Ready? Very small click. I don't know if that, uh, you're going to be able to hear that. But, anyways, next is black. Go ahead and put that in there. Okay. Make sure you hear that click. The brown wire is getting in the way. I'm gonna use my little tool to push it in there. There we go. It's in there. Give them a little tug. Alright. Those are all in there. And then we take our retaining clip right here. Place it back on. And I have no idea which way it goes. This way. That should just snap right on there. Oh, yep, we gotta go in like that. Okay. Now I'm gonna pull on each of these wires and make sure they're all good, and then we are ready to install this. Okay, so. I'm gonna put the new wheel in now, in place here. So we gotta make sure our clock spring is lined up how it was. Feed these wires, airbag wires through the bottom. And then we can wind this up, slide it into place. Now we gotta make sure that, I showed you the two lines earlier, are lined up right there. Well, it looks like they are. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the steering wheel nut just thread it on there. Okay. And then I got the torque wrench here. Set to 25 pound feet. Okay, perfect. So now that that's all done, we can install the airbag.
looks great. It works. Cruise control works. However, the volume controls, the source button and radio are not working. I think that's probably due to the fact that I have an aftermarket radio. But I mean, have these in the first place, so it doesn't matter to me. All that really matters is I got a nice brand and feel like steering it. So, y'all, everything works. Drop anywhere. It looks great. The airbag did not blow up in my face. So there it 